Hey there, this is author, illustrator, Jarrett Lerner, and I am here to show you, teach you a game and do a little demo. Um, it's a game that I like to call, What Can You Make With a Single Shape? It's a drawing game. It's something I often do um, in my notebooks, in my sketchbooks, sometimes before I start uh, doing a, a bigger, harder, more challenging piece of art, sometimes just to get myself warmed up and thinking creatively. Um, I do it in the in the margins of my notebooks and stuff like that. Um, so here's how it's done. I'm just going to move this title up a bit and get a nice big blank sheet of paper. So first what I do is I pick a shape, any shape, any sort of line. It can even be just like an angle anything, a mark on the paper. I use shape because it's often best to start with a circle or a square or a rectangle or a trapezoid, whatever. But the shape that I really like to use and I um, often use is this shape, it's sort of like a half circle or an upside down U. You can leave it open or closed, whatever. But, uh, this is the shape that I'm going to use today just to show you how to play this. And you can use this shape or pick a different one. But um, I find that this shape is um, really, at least for my imagination, it lends itself to all sorts of things for whatever reason. So um, first what I do is I just look at this shape really hard. I, I concentrate on it. I focus and I just try to let my mind wander and I say... Does this shape remind me of anything? Does it make me think of anything immediately? Is it, does it sort of seem like an incomplete drawing of a thing? Um, so after looking at it for a while, I just start playing around and doodling. And if there is something, I try to, I try to draw it. So here, let's see, the first thing I thought of Was like a little, kind of looks like a hill or something. Like a tiny little tuft of grass. The other thing it reminded me of immediately was, if I make a whole bunch of lines, like a rainbow. And the goal of the game, I should say, in addition to just getting your brain moving and your imagination working and your pencil or pen or marker moving, you want to see how many different things you can make. Another thing that this like immediately reminds me of is oh, like a little ghost. Little cheeks. Put a shadow under there so you know he's floating. Um, another thing, this sort of looks like it too. If there's a ghost, if you're writing a scary story or comic it can be a little grave maybe you put some cracks in the stone even creepier right what else um if i use this just as the shape of a body I make a little tail coming off of it. A little dinosaur. Um, you know what? I could do another dinosaur. Maybe get a different kind of tail. Give it a nice long neck. Uh, 
Um, let's see, what else? Um, thinking about that little tail shape I made, if I put it in there and put the head and close this up, create a design on this part of the body. It starts to sort of look like a turtle, hopefully. Let's see. Um, if I make it a little bigger, if I elongate a little bit, little chicken and Let's see if I give a little this bird shape a different type of beak and add some of this it can be a different sort of chicken bird, maybe like a little owl. Let's see if I make it even bigger and longer, be an animal with an even bigger body. This little pig. Maybe he's playing in mud. This is a great exercise too, because sometimes I get great ideas for stories or comics to make just by doodling, doing stuff like this. Let's see, what else? frog um, about another bird just thought of another little bird that shape made me think A penguin hmm um, Speaking of the ocean, thinking of the ocean. And pause to sharpen my pencil a little. I think I can get one more ocean animal. Um, so hopefully you're, if you're watching this, if you're drawing along or not, hopefully you're thinking of things too. Maybe things that I'm thinking of, maybe things that I'm not thinking of. It's a spaceship. This is a great exercise just to get yourself thinking outside of the box and also developing a sort of um, style of your own. Figuring out how you like to draw things and what you like them to look like. It's a tall hamburger. Um, what else? Hat. 
So if you watch my other videos, you've probably heard me say a couple of things repeatedly. One is that there's no right or wrong way to draw anything. So I'm drawing all these things using this shape, but I could use a different shape. You could use a different shape. As long as your drawings communicate what you're trying to say, that's all that matters. If you're drawing a ghost and you draw it differently, as long as your viewer, whoever's looking at your drawing, knows it's a ghost, that's all that matters. There's no right or wrong way or better or worse way. Uh, let's try to squeeze in one more here. But whether or not you end up, you know, drawing all these different things in your own style with this same shape as a base, this is a really good exercise in low game to get yourself drawing new things, seeing things differently, and it helps you break things down into shapes. And that's another thing I talk about a lot in my teaching and in my videos, if you've watched them, is that it's easier when you're drawing things, instead of trying to just go from a blank page to a finished drawing, try to break things down into shapes. Whether it's this upside down U shape or a totally different shape, whatever. But breaking things down into the shapes makes the drawing much easier. And that's how illustrators think. It's how they see the world. And it will help you do the same. So that's how you play this game. What can you make with a single shape? Um, I hope you enjoyed watching me um, doodle. And um, I hope you try this game too with this shape, with other shapes. And um, yeah, if you think of something, if you have some great success using this shape, let me know. Um, and thanks for watching. And if you like this video and the other videos, you can subscribe to my page to make sure you're the first one to get a look at my videos when I post them. All right, happy drawing.